Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about straight lines for 3D chapter for mathematics preparation for RDJ. Uh, I think straight line is a very important topic uh, as I mentioned in the previous video where we discussed direction ratios and direction cosines that straight lines uh, you have probably done straight lines in two dimensional uh, you have already seen how to uh, like what are the equations of the line, how to find distances between two parallel lines and many other types of problems. But here we will be talking about lines in three dimensional plane uh, and I think this is a very very nice topic it basically will refresh all your memories of vectors uh, and will be really really helpful for you to really understand this topic very well. So let us start by defining the topic of straight lines and we will basically develop the whole, uh, whole topic in, uh, in this video. So let us start let us say that we, that we have a line and uh, we want to uh, define the equation of a line this is this line is in 3D so you can imagine this line has uh, is in a 3D plane so it has x component y component and z component. So uh, we have point A and when I write a vector in within point A that means it is a position vector and position vector means it is they are coordinates we have discussed this thing in a, a lot of detail in, in our previous uh, video chapter of vectors. So in case you are a little confused please do make yourself familiar with position vectors and coordinates and things like that. So if I write capital A here which is a point and then I write A vector then this means that it is a coordinates of point A. So what is a straight line? A straight line is an infinite line first there is no line segment it is an infinite line. So it has infinite points okay and uh, it is fixed in space. So it is so this line if I have this line which is basically and it goes to infinity and if I have this line these two lines uh, are fixed this line here will be different than this line here. So they are fixed lines in space uh, and what we have to do is to define them we have to write an equation for them. So let us say we have a general point R this point is not fixed in the sense that this point is a general point in point R and I am calling it vector at small r vector which means a position vector of point A and we have been told that there is a parallel vector to the line called and which is a free vector and that is B vector. So B vector is a parallel free vector which I have again defined as a free vector is a vector in space that can move but cannot change its direction and cannot, cannot change its direction cannot stretch out or become small. B vector is just a vector which has been given to us okay so we have been told to find the equation of uh, basically we have to we have to define vector small r okay so we should you should it should probably come naturally to you but if it's not it's it's probably just very easy to understand still very easy to understand that a r vector is parallel to vector b because r is any point on line a and a is definitely on line a which we have been given the coordinates for so a r vector is parallel to vector b and what is the relation between two parallel vectors that they have to be uh, in other words a r vector is some lambda times b vector and where lambda belongs to r this is a very quick relation from just understanding the vectors and we know that r vector is nothing but small r vector minus a vector into lambda b vector right because this is again i r vector is small r vector minus a vector we have discussed this about the position vectors so small r vector is a vector plus lambda times b vector okay so this is the equation for and lambda belongs to r this is the equation for lines in vector form i will also talk about coordinate form in one second okay it doesn't matter which form you use i generally prefer vector form because it's compact nice to very easy to solve but sometimes it is useful also to know coordinate form and we will do this in a second. But what does this mean? R vectors are coordinates so if we use any value of lambda we will always be on this line that is all this is saying. If I use lambda equal to 0 I come to point A if I use lambda equal to 1 I come to point a vector A plus vector B so I will be somewhere here if I use lambda equal to minus 1 it means vector A minus vector B so I will go somewhere here which is minus a vector B. So basically this this is a complete set of points r vector is a family of points which are uh, uh, in in a, in a line that is all it means and this is what we wanted to write for equation of the line. So now let us say that uh, a vector small a vector 
because you will be given the coordinates is x1 i cap x1 i cap plus y1 j cap plus z1 k cap and the uh, and b vector uh, is l i cap sorry uh, b vector yeah b vector is l i cap plus m j cap plus n k cap this has also been given to us again basically for coordinates you always need to define all three uh, all three values which are implicit within this b vector and a vector and you have been asked to find the equation of line uh, this line then you can write r vector as x i cap any point general x plus y j cap plus z k cap and what we are saying here is through this equation this equation essentially means that x is equal to x1 plus lambda l y is equal to y1 plus lambda m or z is equal to z1 plus lambda n right this is what we mean when if we equate the i cap j cap and k cap this is what we mean that x is equal to a, a vector is equal to uh, r vector is equal to a vector plus lambda b vector so x1 plus lambda l y1 plus lambda l and z2 plus lambda l or in other in another form we can write this as x minus x1 by l is y minus y1 by m is z minus z1 by n and this is nothing but the coordinate form this is the coordinate form okay and this is equal to some quantity lambda which is a real number so now we we understand how to write the equation of a line uh, given a point a and parallel vector b okay so we'll just quickly do some examples try to understand quickly how to like uh, write an equation of a line or uh, find angle between two lines and things like that okay so let us start with uh, first problem And the problem is find the equation of line find the equation of line connecting points one, two, three and two, three, four. Okay. So we have to find the equation of line. Con connecting points 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 so to do that we should start by understanding that we have two points here a point 1 2 3 and b point 2 3 4 right so we have been given one point but we haven't been given a parallel vector which is the small b vector however we can quickly understand that we can get a parallel vector let us say call that parallel vector p vector we can get p vector as the same as a b vector we can assume p vector as the same as a b vector which is nothing but b vector minus a vector and b vector is the position vector of point b which is o b vector and o a vector so we will get a b vector as b vector minus a vector this is again a vector so if you are not familiar please check out uh, the chapter of vectors small b vector minus a vector which means i cap plus j cap plus k cap so, 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap minus i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap. So, it will come out to be i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Now, r vector, r vector is a vector plus lambda b vector and that will be i cap plus 2j cap plus 3k cap, sorry, p vector plus lambda times i plus j plus k. So this is the equation of line in the coordinate form, uh, in the vector form, and if you were to write this equation in the coordinate form, you can take x minus the point on line one, is equal to y minus two, is equal to z minus three, and then divide by the co the coefficients of the parallel vector. Okay, so I hope that this is making sense. This is making sense of how to do this. Okay. Uh, let us do one more problem 
uh, problem is find the angle between two pairs of line between pair uh, the between the lines so we have been given two lines and we have been asked to find the angle and the two lines are x minus 2 by 3 is equal to y plus 1 by 2 is equal to comma z equal to 2 and x minus 1 equal to y minus 1 equal to z minus 1. Okay. So, what does this mean? What does uh, how to solve this problem? So, first thing that you should spot here is that uh, so I mean I can write this line as 1 minus 1 by 1. So, we know the en entire a vector and b vector for this point. So, we know the point on the line and the parallel vector, but how to calculate uh, the parallel vector for such a line? So, I hope that this is very quick for you to spot that you can actually write this as okay. So, what does what I have done here is that z is always equal to 2. So, you can always write z equal to 2 because this, this is also an equation of a line, but in a different format and it has been given to basically confuse you uh, and how you can remove it is that you can take z minus 2 and divide by 0, although this is like in reality not defined type of thing, but we are just trying to show you as a demonstration that whenever there is a coefficient 0 in parallel vector, you write the equation like this. Okay? But if you wanted to think in terms of how we will be writing in a formal form, then you can take this back and divide by 0. So, now we have you have two lines and you have to find angle between two lines. So, if you have two lines and you have let us say a 1 vector and a 2 vector here and b 1 vector and b 2 vector here. So, the angle between two lines would be the angle between the two vectors b parallel vectors b 1 vector and b 2 vector right. So, b 1 vector is i cap plus j cap plus k cap and b 2 vector is 3 i cap plus 2 j cap right. So, the denominators is the parallel vector and the angle between the two ve parallel ve two parallel vectors is the angle between the lines because these they are these vectors are two parallel vectors. So, if I just make the angle find the angle between them you should be able to find the angle between the lines and how to find angle between two vectors this has been done again and again and again in chapter vectors and here is where you, the knowledge of vectors is really important the angle between two vectors is how how do we find them by taking the dot product so cos theta is b1 dot b2 divided by mod b1 mod b2 okay so this, this is how you can find the uh, angle between two lines. So, we are here we did two things first if you have been given ever given something in the strange format you can take z minus 2 divided by 0. So, that it is clear of what is uh, what is the uh, b 2 vector what is the parallel vector and if you have to find angle between two lines just take the cos theta between the parallel vectors of the two lines. Okay. So, in this video first we discussed about the, the equation of a line for that we took a, we needed one position vector that is one point and then we stretched out and basically added a stretched out or compressed a, a parallel vector which is b vector and then we got the equation of all the points on the line. Then we converted that into the coordinate form and then we wrote this equation where the numerator has we subtract the point and in the denominator you have the parallel vector. Then we for asked to find the equation of a line between two points we said okay we have one point but where is how can we find the parallel vector for that we said we can find the a b vector and a b vector can give us b vector minus a vector which is also a parallel vector. So, we can just add the parallel vector in the equation of the line then we also tried to convert it into this form where we subtracted the point and then wrote the parallel vector in the denominator. Then we were asked to find the equation between the uh, angle between the two lines and for that we took the angle between the two 
parallel vectors and how we did that we used the dot product so i have not written down the ans answer but please find the answer yourself and again convince yourself try to find the like the range whether the angle is between 30 to 60 60 to 90 and so on so in the next in the next video we will be taking some more problems on straight lines uh, basically of finding the intersection between two two lines uh, and also uh, distance uh, how to solve find lines which are perpendicular how to find a third line which is perpendicular to the to the first two lines given to us okay so i hope you enjoyed the video i'll hope to see you in the next video thank you